Powered seating systems operating through the driver control are essentially classified as either single actuator systems, such as tilt only, or multiple powered seating systems, such as tilt, recline, and power elevating legs. This video will review the programming for multiple actuator systems through the driver control for systems with expandable electronics. As covered in an earlier video titled Programming the Four-Way Toggle and Quad Push Buttons, a multiple actuator interface box is required to enable powered seating through the driver control for systems with multiple actuators. To program the actuators to operate through the driver control, first you will need to choose a method of operating the system. Turn the programmer on. Scroll down to Powered Seating and press Select. Scroll down to Actuator Control. Scroll to the desired drive profile in which to program Powered Seating operation, or highlight all four drives as setting it up in all, and press Select. Choose the desired method for operating Powered Seating. We will choose four switch, meaning the four switches or quadrants of the driver control each will operate an actuator function. Four switch latched is a method of four switch most often used with sip and puff systems. Four switch two level and four switch latch two level are primarily used for head control drivers and operate four powered seating actuator selections using only the left and right commands of the head control. Momentary one switched and latched one switched are options from the Mark IV systems and are primarily used for users who are accustomed to these settings and do not wish to change. CAPS is a method that enables scrolling to the actuators using left or right commands and operating the actuators with forward and reverse commands. We'll demonstrate this later. This one is only available with color displays. We wanted to choose four switch for this system, so we'll come back up to four switch and press select. All four drives are highlighted, so we'll be setting it up to operate in all four drives. After choosing four switch, scroll down to actuator control standard program and press select. Choose a standard program to match the seating system installed on the chair. The abbreviations used are straightforward. TRL is for tilt, recline, and legs, which is the configuration on this chair. TR are for systems that are tilt and recline only without power legs. T only is for tilt only and so on. Highlight the correct configuration and press select. Each quadrant of the driver control now operates the powered seating system according to the default program for that system. In the TRL program, forward is automatically set to tilt up down, reverse is reclining legs together up and down, left is leg up and right is leg down. We'll demonstrate this for you soon. You can finish here or continue and reassign which driver control quadrant operates which function and customize these settings for your user. To customize these settings, scroll down to the next menu choice, Actuator Selection, and press Select. Scroll down the list to the desired quadrant, in this case we'll choose Left, and press Select. Choose from the list which actuator function you would like to choose. In this case, we will choose recline up and down and press select. And we'll choose the right command and change that to leg up down and press select. Don't forget to save and save again to save all changes and your system is now programmed as you need. Now that you've finished programming the chair to operate multiple actuators through the driver control, let's see what two of the options look like. We programmed four switch into drive one, so when I use the mode switch to go into powered seating, you'll see how the four quadrants of the joystick are each assigned a different actuator function to control. Let's go back to the driving menu. Now let's go to drive two, where we have CAPS programmed for, to operate the multiple actuators of this system. To go into powered seating mode, you can see that in CAPS mode, I'm showing only one actuator function at a time, 
and by using my driver command with right and left commands, I can scroll to the different actuator functions to operate that actuator. My forward command would bring the chair to the upright position. My reverse command would bring the chair to the back position. We hope you found this video helpful.